Welcome to Glitchy Tools. You're going to learn some smooth transitions that will help you edit like 653 or just some daddy style. So let's get started. We have our clips here. We're going to come and add this uh, null objects from Autonals by Pinus. So we're going to be doing the scale transitions. Let's put the keyframe around three quarter. We're going to be moving the anchor point of the null object towards power space because that's where I want the scale to move into. So from there, that means that I'm putting at around 300. So 300 to 100. We're going to be using the value graph. So now that that's done, we're going to be creating the transitions at the out part. We're still going and using the scale. Let's move the anchor points to the cards face. So let's just adjust that and make sure the face is at the center of the screen, not the face actually, but the head. So you're going to be keyframing the position and the scale. After you do this, you're going to come and edit the graph. Just tighten it a bit. Remember when you want to edit the graph to the position, you have to separate the dimensions. Now that that's done, we're going to be moving to the next clip. We're going to be using the, what's it called again? The zoom in, 100 uh, for the last one. And then for the first keyframe, let's just go with negative 100. Remember, you have to move that keyframe back. And whenever you edit these graphs, make them as tight as possible. Do the same for the out transition, and then I'll meet you after that's done. After that, we're going to be adding some adjustment layers. We want to add some warps to these transitions. Uh, the first clip will be working with the optics compensation. The two very important things about optics compensation, the one that we are going to be using, always have to ensure that the reverse length distortion should be checked. And then the field of view that usually works is 100. So we're going to be going from 100 to 0. But then you can just adjust this value, but I'm just uh, giving around feed. And the graph like so, just tighten it up just enough to be able to be seen. Don't make it too much or like you won't see the effect. Okay, now that we're done with that, copy that and paste it in the next adjustment. Menu. Don't forget to time reverse. Right click, keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes. We are moving on to the next clip. We are going to be using the warp effect and the warp style to be set as fisheye. The bend will be going for a negative 100 to 0. Let's just see where that keyframe is that we know where we're placing this last two. Okay, so you go back and also edit the graph. Okay, so we're going to come and copy that and paste it in the next adjustment layer. Also, don't forget to time reverse the keyframes. That being said, it brings us to the end of this first one. For the second one, we are working with addition of the rotation to our already existing scale transition remember the warps that we have right now can still be used with the other ones that we're going to be adding for this tutorial i'm not going to be mixing them up because i want you to be able to see the effects that these actually bring so the rotation i'm going for a 20 so 20 to 0 and then for the out one, let's just go for 0 to negative 20. Just edit that graph. We're going to be copying the keyframes from these two null objects and we're going to be placing them to the next null object that we already have for the next clip. So now we have the transition set. The next thing that we're going to be doing is adding the warps. We're going to be adding that warp effect. And the warp style, we're going to be using twist. For the bend axis, 50 is enough. So from 50 to 0. Let's just edit that graph now. Then you're going to be copying and pasting this effect onto the other adjustment layer. Don't forget to do the time reverse. For this one here, we're changing it from 50 that we had in Chile. We're going to be using negative 50. So that means our keyframes came from 0 to negative 50. And go to the graph editor and fix up that graph. 
Then there's one thing to remember. Whenever you paste this warp effect, the warp style actually resets. So you have to change it back to the twist. Okay, so you're going to be copying and pasting these warp effects onto the next clips. Make sure you change the warp style to twist for both of them. So that brings us to the end of this second one. The third one, we're going to clear everything up again. So while I do that, I'm going to just explain what's happening. Here we've done the normal rotation where you have the anchor point at the center, right? In the second one, we're going to be changing things up a bit and we're going to be moving this anchor point to the top of the clip. So now that we've cleared everything up, let's add our nulls once again. We're going to be moving the anchor points as mentioned earlier. We're going to move them to the top of the clip and it's going to look like this uh, on your slide cards. So let's just go with a rotation of 20 to 0. So you can change it if you like. Play around with the graph. Just adjust that keyframe to fix it up. Now you're going to also move the anchor point for this other null object. Just move it uh, to the same part, just above there. The rotation from 0 to negative point. Perfect. After you're done with that, you're also going to be doing the same thing to the next clip. You're going to move the anchor points. And then you're going to come and paste these uh, rotation uh, keyframes that you've had here onto the null objects for the next clip. Just a little basic transition that you can work on. If you pair these up with other effects like the lens flare, some brightness, it's going to create a very beautiful look. Now that brings us to the end of the video. So that's it three different things I've taught you today. I hope you understood it and I'd really like to see these effects and transitions applied in your edits. If you'd like to share them, don't forget to join the Discord lab. Oh my god. But don't forget to join the Discord server. The link will be in the description. So don't forget to like and subscribe this video. If you have any other comments, questions, don't reach out to me via the comment section or you can even come and contact by the discord server or don't have discord instagram is still there that being said i will see you guys in the next video